Hello YouTube and welcome back to the zone where we're going to get to the main article in a second here But I just wanted to show you guys something very quickly file Death Star Cam 7 of uh, Darth Vader talking to Chris That's this is going to be quite crucial for what you're going to see Literally right now. So uh, do you realize do you realize something? Let me tell you if the Rebel Alliance sees those Death Star plants that you put in the damn droid that he could destroy our base, and we would have to move out of it. That is my house. That is my house, aka ECV00193. Is a video uploaded 27th of August 2009, in which Chris demands footage of his house be removed from the internet that he put up there himself. Chris took down the video not too long afterward, only for it to be re-uploaded by troll archi archivists on the 29th of August 2009. An uncut version of the video featured Bob was acquired by Vivian G and leaked onto YouTube. Description. I was already in deep enough, but this is too deep. Get all my house images off the internet. I am counting on all full positive cooperation in this major matter. Christian Western Chandler, August 17, circa 2009. So, let's see how well he can do this. This does not even deserve a Captain's Log introduction, because this is dead serious. The inside and outside tour I did a few months ago in my house, everyone on the internet, my mother and my father are angry at me and blaming at me. It's my fault. I admit, it's my fault. I want everything about my house off the internet. I'll send in detectives, I'll send in police, I'll send in everything in my power. So yeah, please get everything off the internet now, now. Curse the trolls. Peace to everybody else. Christ almighty, that was just literally him screeching and stomping around for nearly 40 whole seconds. Gee, how the hell is he not, like, falling through that floor yet with him jumping up and down so much? So apparently this is the uncut version where Rob Chandler, uh, rage unintentional comedy, shirt the big green. So this is the, uh... This does not even deserve a cat. So apparently this is the uncut version, so let's just uh, see what was so great that it had to be uncut. Captain's log introduction, because this is dead serious. The inside and outside tour I did a few months ago, blame me, it was off everything in my power to get it off the internet. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes. Listen to me. Yes. Shut that goddamn thing off. I don't care what you do. You get all that stuff off of there tonight. I'm working on it. Go work on it. I am. Do you realize? Do you realize something? Let me tell you. If the health department of Greene County sees those videos that you put on the damn internet, they could condemn our house, and we would have to move out of it. So you go get that goddamn stuff off of there and fast. I'm working on it. I was making a YouTube a video for you to tell everybody to get the images off of the internet. It's, no. it's, it's, it's I my control. Oh, you get them off. It's I my control. I don't know where to go. I don't know you where to go. You loaded them up there. You unload them. I'm working on it. Go do it. I am working. I am doing it. I'm sorry. Get in the hair and do it. I, I, I'll I be up all night with you if I have to. Won't get any sleep that stuff, huh? I'm working on it. Get in there and start. I'm working on it. Let me do that stupid video. All right, let me just get that stuff off of there. I'm working. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, the Green County Health Department responds. Oh no! In addition to creating many my many mirrors of the videos Bob wanted cut down. Some more intrepid viewers actually did contact the Green County Health Department. The Health Department did respond, albeit three weeks later, to one such letter, although they seemed indifferent and stated the Chandler's decision to live in a garbage house full of dirty dishes and animal feces was part of their inalienable rights of guarantee as guaranteed by the US Constitution. Right, apparently so. Not only is the Constitution going to protect people against, you know, murdering each other by, you know, with illicit gun violence, 
but they're going to protect people, you know, from literally living in their own filth and goodness knows what, like spreading leprosy all over Virginia. Dear Bob S. Thank you for your interest in this situation. The challenge is to clarify if the conditions at the residence are a risk to the public's health or if they are personal risks accepted by the individuals that chose to live there. Public health relates to the general health of a community where diseases can be transmitted from person to person or when the health risk affects the community. Regulations have normally been en en enacted to address these public health threats. Even so, the individual's right to choose is protected by the Constitution. We know smoking greatly increases the risk of cancer and heart disease, yet individuals continue to choose to smoke. Regulations are in place to minimalize public exposure to contaminated or mishandled foods, yet some individuals still choose to eat raw hamburger. In the case you brought to our attention, the de the de de the 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 wretched conditions you refer to appear to be confined to the individual residents and are the choice of those that live there. They do not appear to affect the health of the community. There are no specific health regulations that address individual choices in private living conditions. We have contacted the building official to see if any building zoning of fire prevention, keyword there being fire, laws apply were informed that they did not. We also contacted the Green County Attorney to see if he knew of any county ordinances that would be applicable. He did not know of any. We also wanted to, to contact Adult Protective Services to make sure they are aware of the situation. Please contact me if I can be of any further assistance. Jeffrey T. McDaniel, Environmental Health Manager, Thomas Jefferson Health District. This raises the question of whether Chris is properly informed about the risks to his health and all of his rights as a disabled person, especially the right to humane psychiatric treatment that would help him live a life on his own, although this probably isn't a matter for the health department. Damn, just so many of these made. That's just... Wow. I, I, I... I... The more I... The, you know what? The more I learn about the US Constitution, a bit a bit like Chris, really, the more I learn about it, the less, the more I dislike it. It's just mad. And it's, I find it so, again, the thing they mentioned about fire as well is super, super ironic because the, I don't know whether or not the, the thing about hoarding was ever brought to their attention either because... Uh, the health department didn't really seem to like mention or briefly mention the idea of 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 the hoarding situation, which could be a greater risk to uh, you know stuff like prevent starting a fire or you know being a potential hazard, or whether or not it's safe for uh, you know animals to uh, basically run wild in a place like that. And you know what I do. I do think, like, Bob does sort of have a point saying that, you know what, it was Chris's fault that he did this because, well, Chris did it. I did upload that stuff. Bob never uploaded that stuff. Barbara never uploaded that stuff. Most of the things Chris just did on his own. And apparently working on it is making the situation worse because, as we all know, that's just about the only thing Chris is actually capable of doing, making things worse for himself. I don't even know who I'm meant to be upset or angry at this point because <sighs> whatever. Hope you guys have enjoyed. That is my house where apparently Chris's idea of working on it is to uh, sit on his ass, literally filling it and then not doing anything except, you know, whining about, you know, MLP being, you know, ending. So I hope to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care. Bye bye for now.